Oh, good morning, y'all. <laughs> hey, guys. I am on my way to practice. And no, I'm not running. But you're going to have to stay tuned for later in the video to find out what is wrong. Because I don't even really know yet. So stay tuned. Another day, another swim. <laughs> oh wait, I just started it. Uh -oh. Look guys, cupping. Oh. Da -da, da -da, da -da. I was gonna tell you about my swim workout. I did thousand meter warm up, so that's 40 lengths. And then I did two by 200, four by 100, four by 50, and two sets of that. And then 500 meter cool down. All right, we're in the trainers and I'm getting some heat. Whoa, for my back. Got these nice little heat pads. Just beautiful. Okay, let's talk about this season as a whole. Um, okay, yikes. Um, uh, school started, training was not great. I didn't really feel good in any workouts like at all to be honest um and then we had the first meet and at that point like I knew going into that meet that I wasn't at where I was last year as much as I thought I was so I was like not putting a lot of pressure on myself just kind of going with the flow and it wasn't horrible it was not that bad and then I started to notice pain in my left hip and okay it wasn't really pain it was tightness tightness in my left hip um and then it kind of moved down to my it band and my hamstring and then it never went away <laughs> so the rest of the season basically like from that meet so that was the end of august basically from then up until literally now i've been um my stride has been compensated so my whole left side it was just so tight and painful that I couldn't run properly. Like I couldn't get into my stride the same way. So I was basically like limping into my stride, but I could run through it and I was like, we're good. It's September. I only got to get to November. Like this is fine. I mean, I, I don't really know. And then, um, after, the first meet, I also got my blood tested because I just like, I wasn't feeling great. I was tired all the time. I wasn't really sure why. I was like, let's just get my blood tested, no harm. So then got my blood tested right after the meet and then kept running at high mileage. At this point I was running 70 miles a week, feeling like crap almost every run and just not having a good time having pain in my left side and then I got my iron tested and then like two weeks after I got my iron tested I got the blood results back and my iron was low like pretty low um in the 20s I didn't get my blood results until like two and a half three weeks after I actually got it tested so this number that it was showing me was definitely like a very high estimate of how it was at that moment because that was like three weeks ago and I had been feeling progressively worse every week and running high mileage and then I was like okay perfect um time to get some iron beginning of October we're like okay we're gonna drop your mileage so I dropped all the way down to like 45 miles um and I wasn't allowed to do any like hard workouts I was only allowed to do easy runs swimming and I did a few like 400 and 200 meter workouts, which are like 
not workouts. And then pre nats was horrible, as you guys saw. And then right before pre nats, I noticed my right side of my back was tight. But I was like, okay, I've had tightness all season. This is fine. Like my left side has been tight for two months now. We can do this. So a few days, it was tight. After pre nats, it was pretty tight. And then Monday wasn't horrible. We just did a mid run. Actually, that was the best mid run of my life. Who knew why? It was like it was like the finishing touch. It was like you can have a wonderful mid run and then rip. Wednesday came along. This was Wednesday, October. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Last Wednesday and. On the warm up, I remember vividly feeling like my back was going to combust. And I said that. I said, I think my back is going to combust. Ha ha ha. Like, I was joking, but in my head, I was like, this is bad. And basically, moral of the story is my back has been hurting ever since then. It is my lower right side. I went to the PT. They said, originally, my pelvis was rotated. So it was like, my pelvis was like this. And so your pelvis is supposed to be like this. Mine was like that. So I think my pelvis was like this for like the last two months. And that has caused the pain on my left side. So I think I went to the PT. He readjusted me. And I honestly think him fixing my pelvis fixed my left side. Because I don't feel that. I mean, granted, I'm not running. But I don't feel it at all. Um, but my back, we've been doing like cupping, heating, stretching, all the fun stuff. And... It still, it hurts when I walk. It just is like a big ball of pressure and like pain. Obviously my brain and like every part of me wants to run this weekend at Big East, but deep down in my gut, <laughs> I just like know that I really don't think I'm gonna be able to run just based off of how it feels like me running 10 seconds and how much pain I was in. And yeah, anyways, I've been swimming. I've been swimming a lot and it kind of sucks, but yeah, I don't really know what else to do. I've just kind of been like in a really weird place all season and I didn't really talk about that at all. I like you see my vlogs and you're like, oh, she's having a good time, but I haven't really talked about anything that's going on with me and yeah, that's it. So it's like my first sit down video. Oh my God. Um, yeah, subscribe for more. Um, hopefully there'll be a Big East video no matter what the outcome is. So stay tuned for that and goodbye.